double to the front. Science is everywhere, even in the stories. I will tell you stories and then the science involved in them. Stories first. Air is lighter than water. A pot filled with air can float on water. Do you want to listen to the story of the magic pot? There were three friends, a cat, meow, a dog, woof, woof, and a monkey. <laughs> One day, they decided to make kheer. Hmm, that will be a very good treat, purred the cat. I will bring milk, dog said. I will bring rice, and the monkey said. Then I will bring sugar. The next day, they gathered at the monkey's house. On their way, they picked up a few dried sticks. Monkey knew how to create the fire. He took two stones and rubbed them, which created fire. Now the cat said, I will make the kheer. She took the pot and kept on the fire. She added milk and rice. And then she added sugar. Hmm, the kheer was simmering. Now the monkey said, Oh, it's difficult to sit and wait here. Hey, doggy, let's go and take a bath. And they both left. Now the cat was alone. The cat was sitting near the simmering kheer. And the kheer was smelling so nice. The cat thought, Hmm, maybe I should taste it once to check if the sugar is all right. She tasted a little. Hmm, it was perfect. She sat little far from the cave. But the aroma reached there too. Maybe I should taste one more time. She tasted. Hmm, that's even better. Oh, but I should sit little far, otherwise I will finish the whole pot. So she sat up on the tree. But the aroma reached there too. She couldn't resist. She jumped down and she gobbled up the whole key. Mm. Oh my God! What have I done? I finished the whole pot. <gasps> My friends will be angry. The cat got scared. <gasps> then she thought of a plan. She put off the fire and kept a lid on the pot. And then she waited for her friends and acted very innocent. When the friends returned, she said, Now it's my turn to go and take bath. Please wait for me. And she left. Soon she returned and said, Hmm, I'm feeling very fresh and hungry. Let's eat the kheer. Then she opened the pot and everyone was shocked to see there is no kheer. So she said, You finished the kheer without me? The dog said, We have not eaten any kheer. The monkey understood everything. The cat was blaming them. The monkey said, We were sitting and waiting for you. And you must have finished the key. And now you are blaming us? The cat said, No, I have not eaten the key. The monkey said, Then you will have to prove it. Then the monkey went inside the house and got a pot. He said, this is a magic pot. It can catch the thief. They all went to the pond. Then the monkey turned the pot upside down and kept it in the water. Then he sat on the pot and said, I am a monkey 
and hoop hoop is my sound. If I have eaten kheer, then I shall drown. He didn't drown. Nothing happened. Then he jumped out, and it was dog's turn. Now dog sat on the pot and said, "I am a doggy, and woof woof is my sound. If I have eaten kheer, then I shall drown." He didn't drown too, and he came out. Now it was cat's turn. Now cat was little reluctant. Oh, why should I go and try? I don't think this pot is working. The cat was scared. She had eaten the kheer. Now the dog and the monkey said, "No, you will have to go and prove." Finally. The cat had to go and sit on the pot. She sat on the pot and she was shivering. I am a cat and meow meow is my sound. If I have eaten kheer, then I shall drown. And the pot sank and she drowned and she cried, Oh, help me, help me, save me, please! I have eaten the kheer. Please save me. I will never do that again. The monkey pulled her out. After all, they were friends, and cat had learned her lesson. So, what do you think? Why the monkey and the dog did not drown in the pond? Why only the cat did? Was the pot really magical? Let's go into its science and find out. When the pot is kept upside down on a steady surface of water, there is air trapped inside the pot. Like this. Here is a dry handkerchief. I will put this handkerchief inside the glass. Now I will keep it upside down. The air is here, as you can see. Water will not go inside. Because of the air here, look, the glass is completely inside the water. The air is not allowing water to get into the glass. Now I'm taking it out slowly. Let's see if the handkerchief has got wet. It's completely dry. Now let's do it again. This time, as you can see, I'm shaking the glass. Can you see? The air inside the glass is coming out. The glass will sink. Let's take it out now. Look, it is all wet. This is no magic. This is the science. You can also try it at home. The monkey and the dog could safely sit on the pot because they were not shaking. But the cat, she was shivering with fear. She made the pot move. The air from the pot escaped, and the water came in. This made the pot sink, and the cat drowned.